and three local soldiers who gave their all in America's war on terror could soon be memorialized here in Texoma. Legislation to rename three pieces of Oklahoma highways after the fallen heroes is now headed to the Senate floor. Heather Sarr spoke to the senator behind that bill. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Heather. Shelby Senator J. Paul Gum said last week hundreds of veterans came to the Oklahoma State Capitol where he was able to personally thank them for their service. But he says he's pushing for several highway memorials to honor those he'll never be able to thank for the sacrifices they've made for our country. A stretch of highway leading into the city of Durant could soon bear the name of a fallen hero who used to travel it frequently. It's going to be roads that they traveled near where they grew up, uh, especially in the case of, uh, of Brady Rudolph. Uh, we, we had a long conversation with their family about what road they would like to see named for that. And, and Highway 70 certainly seemed an appropriate spot. Chief Warrant Officer Brady Rudolph is one of three heroes included in a bill brought forth by Senator Gum. Corporal Michael Thompson is another. At only 23, Thompson died fighting in Iraq as part of his second tour there. He spent most of his childhood in Kingston and a portion of Highway 32 could soon be named in his memory. Thompson's mother Angie Perry says while the road could have her son's name on it, the memorial would represent more than him alone. It's because of what they stood for. It's just not these, these three young men and, and the two and my son uh, that, that sacrificed what they sacrificed for their communities and their country but it's for all. I think they represent all the uh, soldiers that, that have sacrificed in one way or another. Sergeant Clint Williams is the third Oklahoman included in the bill. He died September 14, 2006 at the young age of 24. A stretch of Highway 377 from Medill to the Oklahoma state line could soon be called Sergeant Clint E. Williams Memorial Highway. Senator Gum says the next step in the naming process is for the bill to reach full Senate approval. With the sacrifices these soldiers made, he says this is the least he could do to show his gratitude. Thousands of people every month will see those signs as they travel these highways, and it's a good way to send the message that we will not forget the sacrifice and we understand that, that America is free only because we have heroes like these three gentlemen and the thousands of others from this district and, and beyond who are sacrificing so that uh, we can be free. Senator Gum says he doesn't see any reason why this bill wouldn't be approved. It will now move on to the Senate floor where it will wait for further consideration. Live in the studio, Heather Saar, First News. Thank you.